So I'm pretty sure you've heard of Clubhouse, right? I know you've heard of Clubhouse. You've either heard about it through some celebrity rapper drama. Maybe you heard about the DJ Academics Meek Mill situation. Maybe you heard about the Joe Budden, Jay Prince situation. I know it's coming across your timeline. Or maybe one of your elitist friends keeps bragging on Twitter about how they finally got an invite and they've just been soaking up all the games since they got in. Either way, whether it's because of the drama or the FOMO you've been experiencing, I know you've heard of Clubhouse. And one thing I've realized is that, you know, despite all the drama, Clubhouse can actually be a very useful app for networking if you know how to use it correctly. Another thing I've realized is that not a lot of people seem to know how to use it correctly when it comes to networking. So that's exactly what this video is about to be about. How you, the aspiring artist or artist or aspiring professional can properly network on Clubhouse. Let's get into it. It's the network. <laughs> What's up? My name is Corey. I am a music marketer, co-founder of Country Brand Agency, and I'm here to give you tips, tricks, hacks, and everything in between that can help you get your music lit and finally get you in front of some real fans. Now, today's video is all about how you can properly network on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is this new audio-only social media app. It's, it's really like listening to a bunch of podcasts. It's the best way to explain it. Um, in this app, people have the ability to create rooms and talk about whatever it is they want to talk about. And I've seen everything from finance rooms to business rooms to music industry rooms to some wild shit, like some, some crazy rooms that y'all probably don't ever want to go into. And like I was saying earlier in the video, despite the fact that it's been gaining a lot of attention uh, due to some of the celebrity drama that has leaked outside of Clubhouse, it's actually a really cool tool for networking and meeting new people within very specific and very various industries. So I want to take this video to give you guys some tips on how you can properly navigate the Clubhouse space, how you can network in there and start to build a brand within it and actually get some use out of it outside of just hearing me and moan for $500. <laughs> But before we get into all that, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come give me some video ideas. Come talk to me. Come engage with me. All that good stuff. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the first thing that you want to do when you get your Clubhouse invite and you make your profile is you want to optimize your bio and your profile in general. Meaning, make sure you have a nice profile picture. Make sure your bio actually has some information about yourself. Tell people who you are, what do you do, and what are you looking to gain out of Clubhouse and gain out of the people that you are meeting on this platform. And lastly, please link your Instagram and your Twitter profile. If I meet you in a room and I talk to you and I like you and I want to connect, how am I supposed to connect if you won't tell me what you do and how I can find you? Make it make sense. So before I even get into all the other stuff, that's literally the first thing that you want to do. Making sure you have an optimized profile not only gives you a great first uh, presentation when you're in these rooms and when you're talking to people, and let's be honest, and music and in business in general first impressions really do matter and if your profile picture is some grainy photo that you took back in 2014 and your bio just has like a question mark in it and i can't connect with you um, because you don't have your instagram and your twitter profiles linked why would i want to connect with you you know so make sure that the door of the house looks good before you try to invite people in that's the best way i can explain it so once you've done that, you've optimized your profile, you got the profile picture, the nice bio, you've linked everything. You want to move into adding value into the community. And the best way to add value to the community of Clubhouse is to actually engage in the rooms that you're in. Now, if you don't want to be in drama and crazy stuff, don't go into drama field and you know, rooms that are built around crazy conversations. But if you can find the spaces that you actually have a place to add value, you do have some knowledge or you do have a, an opinion and a way and something to add to the conversation, put yourself out there and talk. Once again, this is an audio only platform. People want to hear what you think. They want to hear your voice. They want to hear you speak on certain things. And if you can bring value into whatever the conversation is, you immediately stand out as someone that's worth talking to. Uh, because most people who join the platform like to stay within the crowd. They want to hear the conversation that's going on. They want to hear gems. No one wants to look stupid. No one. Everyone is afraid of saying the wrong shit. But sometimes just saying something at all puts you on someone's radar. And that is the first step. And that is a step that is very easy to do in Clubhouse. So if you are a producer, go and join a room where producers are talking about why are rappers scamming everybody. You know, if, if you see a room talking about business stuff and you have some experience in creating LLCs or, or doing, you know, putting something out there, join the conversation, hop in, add some value, add something to the conversation, present a question. If you're in a room where there are speakers and there are people who you would consider to authoritatively be above you, Go into that room and ask a smart question. Once again, when you are on a platform that is pretty much like a large social panel, having something to say, 
having a question to ask and having an opinion and an idea will immediately put you above the hundreds of other people that are in that room paying attention, also trying to figure out how to get people to look at them. The next thing you can do to improve your chances of networking on Clubhouse is to create a room yourself and create these rooms around things that you need. So I'm gonna give an example, right? If you are a rapper looking for producers, start a room that says rapper looking for producers or you know maybe pose a question producers why don't you guys like working with new rappers what this would do is it will attract the type of people that you're looking to connect with into that room and then you can talk to them you can start a conversation you can do all those things i talked about earlier like adding value and letting them get cool with your thoughts and what you think and it's a very easy way to attract the people in clubhouse that you are looking to connect with so if you're looking to find a manager start a room that talks about artists and managers if you're looking to find an investor start a room asking something like hey investors what do you look for when investing in the artist whatever you are looking for whatever the type of person that you're looking to connect with all you have to do is create a room that's tailored to that person the people who are interested in that or fit within that space will click into the room and now as long as there's a conversation and you're adding value they're going to stick around and now you have this big group of people that you can connect with that are based around this very specific thing that you were looking for it's crazy it's crazy and the best part about this tip is that literally anyone can do it this doesn't just go for music artists if you're a manager looking for artists do it if you're a producer looking for artists do it publicist uh distributor publisher whatever your space is within the industry whoever you are looking for you can find those people if you just create a room about whatever you're looking for and the last networking tip I have for you when it comes to Clubhouse is to reach out to these people that you're looking to connect with. If you've been in a room and you've heard someone speaking and they've given a lot of advice um, that you like, they've dropped some gems, you guys connected, you like their thoughts, their opinions, or you think they could bring value to your career in some type of way, reach out to that person and let them know that you found them on Clubhouse. And the key thing here is to make sure you're not being rude, you're not being pushy, you're not trying to sell them something don't send them a link unless they gave permission to you know or, or say hey guys everyone can send me a link but just send them a very casual hey i heard you speaking on clubhouse i like some of the things that you were saying i know that you do this for artists i'm a x y and z hopefully we can connect sometime in the future boom very short very sweet very to the point you're not being pushy you're not being salesy you don't turn that person away from you because who likes being asked for something from a stranger they just met 30 seconds ago nobody likes it i promise you um but now if you've done all those things that that we talked about before you know your profile looks nice you look presentable you've added value to a room or to a conversation or you ask a question maybe they've seen you around clubhouse before because you started your own rooms and your own conversations and now when you reach out and you're polite you're on their radar you're on this person's radar so now they may give you permission to uh give you give them more information about what you do send them links you know they may give you information on how they can help you the conversation may move in a direction of them helping you it may never go anywhere but at the very least you're on their radar and you've done it in an effective way and you've done it in a way that you can do over and over and over again so there it is guys those are my tips for networking on clubhouse if you're someone that's looking to get on the platform and actually make some connections and build a personal brand and and build with people that you feel like can actually help you move your career like i said i know a lot of you have probably found the platform due to all of the, the different rapper dramas that have come out of the platform but i've met some really interesting people in clubhouse like there was once where i was just up at like two in the morning and there was a room where everyone was playing among us and i just hopped in and played and i met someone from spotify i met an angel investor i met all these cool tech people that did really cool shit that like you know i'm sure i need at some point or i need to talk about at some point i need to ask them about things at some point and that is the beauty of that that platform um when you go there with that in mind if you go there with a networking mindset a gold digging mindset you will come out of it with gems if you go into it with a bullshit mindset, you will come out of it with bullshit. So with that being said, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all guys next time.